I got a nice little toy in the mail today called an automatic transfer switch. I do have some solar panels and a battery bank and an inverter to make a, a little microgrid, but the problems I run into is that I can't have something connected all the time or I risk draining the batteries. This guy will actually uh, connect to your battery and your inverter with AC power. And when he detects that your batteries are too low on uh, how much capacity they have left, it'll switch over to your grid. So this is the best thing I've ever heard of that, uh, you know, I can use the solar panel panels that I generate to the maximum advantage and uh, use the power grid as a backup solution. This can handle up to, I think, 50 amps. I'm not gonna go that high. Uh, I think this is able to do 15 amps. Yeah, 15 amps. Uh, but I got the really thick stuff uh, just so that the wires don't heat up. What I'm seeing with the NEMA 515 is this wire here, the white one, is your neutral wire, and the black one is your hot. And I'm seeing live neutral, live neutral, live neutral. So it's gonna be black, white, black, white, black, white. And then I have to connect all the grounds together. All right, there we go. I got my two wires in, except for my ground. This thing can handle six gauge wire. And I had to make this wire extra long just so I can reach over into this guy. And this guy kind of like has some kind of glue, goo, I don't know what's in there. Uh, but I've got like a little miniature bus bar in here that connects all the ground wires together. The uh, wires to the battery are screwed into this little connector. And then I also put on some ring terminals on the end. All that's left is to connect it up to the battery and then uh, turn it on. Ooh. We'll plug in the inverter. Let's plug it into there. And we don't need that anymore. Let's turn that on. So we have grid power, we have inverter. Press this middle button. We have the, the low voltage. So if it gets to 12.2 or lower, it's gonna switch to the grid. Then I set it so that it won't it won't switch back to the batteries until they've got to 13.1 volts. So it's like I want this uh, shut off at about 65% battery capacity and come back on when it's fully charged. Because when it's fully charged, that means my solar panels are probably on and charging it at its fullest. And I don't want to waste that energy from the sun. Okay, so my Bitcoin miner is actually in that cooler right now. Uh, so I brought out here. I was logging how much power that consumes every day. So instead of putting it directly to the Bitcoin mine, miner plug, I'm putting it on the grid power. So now anything coming from the inverter is free power. So I wanna see that the, the amount of energy this uses from the grid goes down. Let's turn on the inverter. <laughs> it should switch over to grid. There it goes. And it did not turn off. Look at that. Or did it turn off? Oh, I see green lights in there. So I'm mining Bitcoin off of the sun. And this is going to keep my garage a little warm in the winter. Probably not that much warmer, but it should be warm enough that I might actually be encouraged to work on the car.